Hi, I'm Jimmy. In this video, we're going back to the investing basics. So if you're new to investing or if you're looking to get better at investing in general, that's what this series is designed to do. We're gonna kick off this series with margin of safety. And we're going to define what margin of safety is. We're gonna look at how it can improve our investment returns and lower our investment risk. So let's kick it off with a basic definition of what margin of safety is. So Warren Buffett's mentor, Benjamin Graham, well, he was one of the first to talk about what margin of safety actually is. And basically what it is, is buying an investment for less than what that investment's worth. Here's his technical definition, but that's the gist of it. The advantage doing this is that it helps us lower our investment risk and gives us better returns on our overall investments. So now let's jump in and look at a quick example of how we could apply this to our own investment portfolio. So this is a chart of JP Morgan Chase's price to book value going back the past five years. Now the assumption when we get to this point is that we've already researched the company. So we already have an idea whether or not we like the company. We get to the point of trying to come up with the fair value of the company because we like it, we wanna buy it. The question is where? Well, JP Morgan Chase is an investment bank price to book value tends to be a good way to come up with a quick and easy fair value for that company. So using this chart, we can look at their own history and we can see that the average price to book value of the past five years is 1.6x. Currently it's trading at about that level, which is why we're saying the fair value using the five-year average price to book value is 142. Right now the stock's trading at about 143. So it's about fairly valued we can see we have 0% margin of safety here, which means the ideal entry is at 142. The very concept of what Buffett does, what Benjamin Graham was talking about, was to add a margin of safety here. You gotta add a little buffer that builds in a little, call it a safety net. So what if we would increase this to 5%? Well, just like that, now our ideal entry drops to 135. So if we think that 142 is where the company should be, we buy it for 135. That's what a 5% margin of safety would look like. But what if we've researched the company and we look at it and we say, you know what? There's a lot of risk here. 5% is not much. That would be a company with very low risk. What if there's a decent amount of risk? A lot of competitors in the industry, a lot of problems. Maybe we increase our margin of safety up to 20%. And just like that, now we need to wait for the stock to drop below 114 per share in order to make jumping in make sense. So the key to applying margin of safety to our investment portfolios is by one, do the research on a stock. Once you do the research, well, you can analyze the risk. The more risk an investment has, the higher the margin of safety should be. If it's too risky, just eliminate it. But as one example, if you're going to invest in a US treasury, well, clearly that would get a very small margin of safety, if any. But if you're gonna invest in a brand new startup, that deserves a very large margin of safety. By restricting the companies that could make our investment portfolio, that could land in our investment portfolio, or at least at a too high of a price, well, by restricting those companies this is exactly how we can get better returns and lower our investment risk. This is exactly what Benjamin Graham was talking about and Warren Buffett many times since then. Now, if you'd like to know how to research a stock, I actually did a video called The Eight Steps to Analyze the Stock, which walk you through from what we should be looking at, where we can find that information, where what documents we care about, if you'd like to, I'll leave a link right here, a link in the description below. Thank you so much for sticking with me all the way to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.